How did it feel dropping into that wave? Dropping into that wave was pretty sketchy. I just saw like chops that were like four feet tall coming up the face and big boils. And there's so much water drying up the face that when you're going down on a wave that big, there's so much water coming up that it feels like you're going backwards. It doesn't even feel like you're going down the wave. And there's chops that are four feet tall that are like a normal wave that you would surf on a normal day. Once I got to the bottom, I realized that I kind of went too far down. So I was like, okay, I just have to do a huge bottom turn. So I go out off super low and just do the biggest bottom turn I could. I almost went too high doing a high line. Then I had to drop back down. But dropping in that way was definitely a feeling that I've never felt before. Tyler Leron was towing me in. Tyler knows that way better than anyone. So put me in the right spot on all of my ways. And yeah, Tyler is the man you would be. Who else was out there surfing with you? When I first got out there, it was just me, Kyle Eddie, and a foiler and Ian Walsh out there. And then as the day went on, a couple other guys came out, Zane Schweitzer, and then Tyler was towing me in before that he went out after. How many waves did it take that day to get that one? So that day in particular, it took me three waves to get that wave. Can you try to explain the power of a wave like that? The best way I could explain it is a lot of people say it sounds pretty corny, but it does feel like getting getting hit by a car, getting hit by like a truck, a lot of people say, but super raw power to mother nature just landing on you all at once. So your limbs are going everywhere. The water's just going up your nose, in your ears blowing in your mouth you're just trying to stay calm and it's almost like if you ever been to hawaii and want to stand under a waterfall when the waterfall is like landing on you imagine like that times like a thousand and just like coming in all directions and just, you're just getting spun around at the same time it's really hard to explain but kind of shut up see it for yourself don't do it though when i fell i went so deep so quick that my ears like exploded and i just started like kind of spinning out underwater. i don't think i blew out my eardrums but definitely something happened and then when i popped up i got on the sled and nano grabbed me and i was on the sled and i remember putting my head down like and closing my eyes and i was just spinning out I couldn't tell like what was up and what was down and i was just like spinning out kind of out of it who had the best reaction after you cut out of that wave usually the people that are going to have the best reaction and the first reaction is the safety crew because they're going to be the first one to grab you after you wave. And this time it was Nano, Nano and Sarah. So he came and grabbed me. And Nano is just the man. He's all so psyched and so positive that he came and he's just screaming. Oh my God, that wave was so sick. Freaking out, all this does. And yeah, those are the guys that like usually get to share that moment with you first when they pick you up. So Nano had a pretty sick reaction. And then I went to the boat and my dad was sitting on the boat. My dad was freaking out. And then Jamie Mitchell was giving me props too. And there's a lot of people giving me props. So I was like, what kind of board did you use out there and what type of equipment? That day I was using a KT surfboards, carbon wrap, vacuum sealed, one of the fastest boards in the world. Those boards are made for Jaws and with the fins too, the Maui Fin Company, the Kailani models, those things are so fast. You put those two together, you're just going down the line at almost like 50 miles an hour. So that was that's like the best equipment you can get for out there with the best board and the best fins. And also I was using my Beal Surf float suit. It's a wetsuit and it has foam padding in it. So if your board hits you, it's not gonna hurt as bad. And if your pull vest doesn't work, that you pull and it blows off a CO2 cartridge in the back and fills up your suit. If that doesn't work, then you always have the extra flotation from your wetsuit. And then on top of that, I have the pull vest. So you pull, you have four tabs right here. So you pull one, lifts up the tab and drops a little needle and pokes the tip of a CO2 cartridge and all the air from the CO2 fills up a basically like a, a lung in your wetsuit and it inflates and puts a bunch of air in there and it shoots you straight to the top and you have four pulls. So I only had to use one on that luckily. But yeah, that's the equipment I was using. Did you do anything to get hyped up for that day? I listened to a lot of Tupac in the morning. I usually just listen to music, put my headphones on or just pound music in the car on the way to the harbor. And I just get in a good state in my mind, start thinking about like the clips after, start thinking about just like, I don't know, I kind of like make a little edit of what's going to happen in my head. Like as we're going, I just hype myself up. I'm pretty good at hyping myself up. So I said that and hope for the best. And that is the rundown of the swell at Jaws Black Friday. That's how we did it and how we executed the plan.